Hey America, what's up? Uh, hey everyone, hey light fighters, hey preppers, hey gorillas, hey minute men, it's Tim Harrell here and as we know from Mission 22, uh, 22 combat veterans a day commit suicide. That's all we know from Mission 22. They don't do anything to help stop or detour the suicide and that's where I come into play here with my program Prepper 22. It's a two forts where people can better themselves, prepare themselves, train, and they use veterans in their local community to do it, which gives veterans a healthy outlet to knock. Emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. And up and down like a yo-yo. I tried fad diets, powders, pills. Then I discovered the AIDS diet plan, which helped me lose weight and keep it off. AIDS are tasty caramels for dieters. AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy. And AIDS contains no stimulant. So why don't you let AIDS help you lose weight and keep it off? AIDS helps you stay the way you want to be. Hey, light fighters, what's going on? Good morning. It's uh, Prepper 22 here, and I got myself a new selfie stick for me and my daughters. Uh, one of my daughters does gymnastics and dancing, and my other daughter likes to just make YouTube videos like me. So we bought ourselves a selfie stick to be able to do this with, and uh, it's cool because it has a tripod as well. So I'm going to use the selfie stick and the video today is going to be a uh, field test. I'm going to drive around this morning to a lot of the different terrains and we're going to just test this uh, total terrain camo out. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite. Uh, my all time favorite camo is the gray digital ACU. I deployed with that. I believe in that, you know, out in the woods. It, it, the lime green and gray blends in well with the, the shades of the trees. And then the light colors and grays and stuff blend in well in the desert. And I see a lot of that, the same color schemes with this uh, total terrain camo. It's not digital, obviously, but it's almost the same color schemes. So uh, we're going to walk pretty deep into this woods set this up and then uh yeah we're gonna have some fun we're gonna see how well we blend in today hope you like it this is not a test this is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the u.s government weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge all other weapons are restricted government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be armed commencing at the siren any and all crime including murder will be legal for 12 continuous hours police fire and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m when the purge concludes blessed be our new founding fathers and america a nation reborn may god be with you all
I've tried fad diets, powders, pills, still my weight's been up and down like a yo-yo, until the AIDS plan taught me how to take off weight and help keep it off. AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy, and there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. Let the AIDS plan teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try peanut butter AIDS.
Alright guys, so uh, driving to a new location, it's time for my schizophrenic rant. <laughs> I heard uh, Risky Crisky always say that. I think it would be more accurate for both me and Risky Crisky or any uh, veteran who does that. To call, instead of calling it like a paranoid schizophrenic rant, I would call it a paranoid psychosis rant. <laughs> because, you know, I don't think veterans are schizophrenic. But, uh, you know, PTSD does uh, form a type of psychosis where you think a lot of people are out to get you. You know, you don't hear voices in your head telling them they're out to get you. But most, a lot of combat veterans think people are out to get them in whatever situation they live in. Whether they live a very stable life and have a 9 to 5 job, they might think their bosses are always out to get them and fire them. Which looks like it makes them work harder and harder, but they're stressing out really in real life. Um, if they work security at some construction site, they might think that there's always people coming there to steal stuff and they look like this awesome guard because they're always alert and stuff. But again, it's their psychosis and PTSD driving them crazy and people on the outside think they're uh, performing really well. I know. So, you know, Prepper 22, if you know any uh, veterans out there, call them up, you know, let them, let them vent. Let them vent about their job to you, you know? It's great to let someone vent. I have a wife and uh, she loves to vent and I love hearing her vent. And I noticed that if I take my PTSD medicine before she vents, I'm like, mm, mm, you know, I don't wanna hear it. But if I wait until after she gets done with her work vent in the morning to pop in my PTSD, I actually collaborate more with her and I'm more proactive in her conversation. And that's what led me to start thinking we're psychosis but anyways um yeah back to uh where i was getting at as you can see i'm doing more terrain um testing on beaded trails or right off beaded trails and why because if you're a prepper or a uh, minute man i don't know why my seatbelt's on if you're a prepper or a minute man or you're waiting for shit to hit the fan bug outs and all that you need to be used to working from the city or where you live to your bug out location. I mean, are you that lucky that you have all the people that you're gonna evacuate with you and everything where you can just go from your house to the bug out? Probably not. Who knows what's gonna happen and when shit starts getting stupid. You might have to go to one spot to grab someone, then to another spot to grab someone, then to another spot. Or you might have everyone, but it's not safe to travel straight to the bug out spot. You're gonna have to travel to one spot download walk the beaded trail to another spot so we have to get used to not only moving around in urban environments but moving around in dense wood environments you can't have one without the other you know some preppers and, and mag groups uh, mutual assessment groups and tactical response groups only work urban environments and that's great and then other guys only work bug out environments deep woods and stuff and that's cool too but it's like ultimate fighting championship you can't win if you don't know how to strike and grapple you can't stay alive when shit hits the fan if you don't know how to move in the woods and move in urban and people who, who say i'm gonna move in the urban think about it after two or three months of no power no electricity nobody working there nobody doing lawn care how urban is your urban environment going to look and how used to moving around in the woods and how is your camo prepared to move around in urban areas gray areas dense wood areas the green areas and even sanded areas the brown areas and that's why i always loved the acu back in the day a lot of people don't love it i want to buy a new one now but my wife won't let me buy any more uniforms But, you know, I got this one before she made that rule. And this looks almost just like uh, the ACU to me. It's not digital. It's, it's more like the uh, the Fletch Rat or whatever, the German uh, Flectar 
Jeremy Camel always, but I love this. I've used it on a lot of different beating trails, going into woodlines, coming out of woodlines, taking trails to the city, coming out of the city today. Now let's finish putting this Rathco Total Terrain Camo to the test. We're gonna go over to the state park that has all kinds of different terrain right there as soon as you get out into the woods and we're gonna finish the test. Age helps control your appetite, so you lose weight. Yet age lets you taste, chew, and enjoy. And the appetite suppressant in AIDS is not a stimulant. AIDS helped me to lose 18 pounds, and it doesn't contain anything to make me nervous. Question, why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? AIDS helps you lose weight without making you jittery. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. Announcing the commencement of the annual purge, sanctioned by the U.S. government. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. And, for the first time since its inception, no one has been granted special immunity from the purge. No citizen or group will be exempt. Blessed be our new founding fathers and a man, a nation reborn. May God be
All right, so there you guys have it, Light Fighters. You know, we I play around. I love playing around with camo. You know, wearing different camos and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot of work with this camo because I like it. But more importantly, like I always say, there's got to be something more important. You know, there's got to be a hidden agenda for at least my videos and not just me criticizing Sheriff Wilkinson here in Wilkinson County, North Carolina. <laughs> but the 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 real thing today, the the message that I'm trying to say today, is you gotta have a plan. Okay, like we were saying when I was driving over here, you know, if you're planning on just going from your house straight to your bug out zone, you're like, I got all my bug out shit packed and stored and stashed in my bug out zone, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a plan. How are you gonna get there? You know what I mean? Uh, in Ranger School, I remember one time we were making the mission to plan the off order to do a raid. We were gonna, you know, patrol, run through the woods or the jungle at night, roll up on a camp and raid them. So we planned for that mission, we planned the ammo for that mission, you know, the water for that mission, how much ammo would it take to do a raid, stuff like that. But we didn't think of the contingency. And what the contingency was, was the up for the bad guys, you know, little bitches that couldn't take it through a rip. Um, they ambushed us on the way to the raid, a different group. And we fought off the ambush, you know, we didn't have any casualties, but we did not have the adequate amount of supplies ammo and time to do the raid as we planned and the reason why we didn't have a contingency you should always have a, a primary plan a secondary plan and a contingency plan and you should be training on those you know and that was a mistake that me and my little uh fire team missed in that class but uh you know if all we're planning to do when shit gets stupid and shit hits the fan is uh you know just bug out but we haven't actually trained on how to move through the terrain. What if the vehicle we're gonna to use to get to our bug out zone breaks down? What if the camo, what if what if all of a sudden shit hits the fan because a fucking nuclear fucking holocaust happens and now the whole sky's black and dark and all this cool camo we have sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. You know, we have to plan for other things. Nothing I want more to play hide and go seek and things get dumb and grab my whole family and run to a bug out zone. But I have to think, I'm going to be doing evacuations, you know, I'm going to be helping move other families. What if I have to pick my daughter up from her friend's house, now I'm stuck helping her friend, you know? What if the roads are cut off and we have to move through the woods? Is your bug out, is, is your bug out bag um, set up for your family, you know? Can you move and, and take care of your family and stuff? Contingency plans. Always think of contingency plans. Then another camo test with Prepper 22 and I hope you liked it because I really like this camo and we're going to be doing some more. We're going to be doing some fights now. Total terrain camo versus multi-cam. Total terrain camo versus jungle stripes. Total terrain camo versus everything. You know what I mean? So stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Help me get more subscribers, okay? You guys really helped me out. I had five subscribers. I said this last time, and now I got six subscribers. So, you know, can I get seven off this video? That's my contingency plan.